So probably the TIE fighter that gets the most reputation out of all of them is, of course, the TIE fighter uh, dedicated to Darth Vader. Uh, that is the TIE Advanced X1, and uh, this is a 1 in 72 scale of it. Um, it is definitely one of my favorite TIE designs, just because I like Darth Vader. Darth Vader is cool, and it's always cool when there's sort of unique looking ships. And at, when this movie came out, there was only this one and the TIE Fighter. That's it. <laughs> so it was just kind of cool to see like a different looking ship. And yes, they came out with more as the series progressed, but either way, uh, the differences started with this guy. And it was, you know, it was obvious that Darth Vader was going to get his own special ship and all sort of like, I think all the Sith Lords have really had their own different sort of take on a ship or TIE Fighter as they've progressed through the series. But anyway, this is the TIE Advanced X1. It is really actually kind of small, comparatively speaking. Its wings are definitely very small. Um, the funny thing about this one is that the wings actually came modeled in like one solid piece where usually we had to, like you would have the, um, the actual solar panel portions and then you'd have to add the gray outline to it uh, after the fact. But in this particular case, um, they actually came all in one, which, I mean, I guess I appreciate it makes it an easier model to put together, but it takes a little bit of the fun away, doesn't it? <laughs> but anyway, there is actually a Darth Vader inside the cockpit here. Can I get this open? I'm afraid of opening it. Yeah, there's actually a little miniature Darth Vader in there. <laughs> um, <laughs> all too easy um but uh it's a very neat little ship i think the cool thing about this one is that it was designed so that it could actually exist on its own i think there was what a hyperdrive unit in this one it was designed for more prolonged uh space travel i always thought that this bit was kind of cool i like that i mean it's neat to actually see it from this angle because you really only get to see a certain amount of it when it's actually watching it in the movie but it's kind of cool. It kind of, it was kind of funny because like, obviously this ball is very common in all of the uh, TIE fighter designs and this sort of like clipped right into the, <laughs> into the ion engine portion of it. Um, but it's, it's very neat. And like, for an example, um, I just finished building this one as well. Um, these are the same scale. So this is the TIE advanced and this is the uh, TIE striker from Rogue One. Um, as you can see, like the wing size is incredibly different. Um, and these again are the same scale, 1 in 72, so it's kind of interesting to see that um, this is that much smaller. I mean, the TIE, the, TIE, uh, the TIE Interceptor was significantly smaller as well, uh, but either way, it's a cool ship, and I'm happy to add it to my little fleet of TIE Fighters up there, and as well as the uh, Star Trek ships. <laughs> It's kind of funny. I have a whole bunch of freaking Enterprises and Star Trek related uh, ships up there, but then I've got like a, f a squad of TIE Fighters, a couple A-Wings and a B-Wing. <laughs> oh, and uh, Galaxy Quest's Protector. Uh, but anyway, let me know what your favorite version of the TIE Fighter is, and yeah, we'll see you guys later. Bye-bye.